Right guys, this is a long play and review for The Adventures of Timothy Gunn on the Amstrad CPC, released by CNG Soft in 2018. So yes, this is a new game. Uh, I've featured it before on live streams and I've beaten it there. But here's the proper long play and review vid that it deserves. And yes, this cover art, if you can't tell, is a mix of the Stallone Cobra and the Terminator movie posters. Very nicely done. So let's uh, start this off. Uh, okay, uh, before I get into the backstory of things, let's have a look at the uh, loading screen. There's the CNG Soft logo. Ah, nice rendition there of the poster. Really nicely done. Oh, yeah, baby. It's the Peter Gunn theme. I love this. I love this tune. And this is a great rendition of it. Those of you not familiar, you can't remember where you've heard this, you would have heard this in the Blues Brothers movie and the uh, Spy Hunter game as well. Oh, well, this is a much better rendition of it than the uh, Spy Hunter conversion uh, from US Gold many years ago. And indeed, this is a piece of music that I have, I have actually composed on the Amstrad as well, so one day I'll get to play it to you guys. And here we are, what a lovely title screen this is. the controls there and we'll be kicking things off very shortly. Now this is a horizontally scrolling uh, run and gun game and you're just blasting enemies and uh, look after the enemies that are carrying like pieces of evidence or whatever. Collect all the evidence filling up the blue bar at the bottom of the screen you'll see shortly and the level is won. Now there's kind of about six levels in total at the end of level six we get a boss battle and then it loops around to level one again uh, but with like stupidly high difficulty and our goal is to beat the game and get past level seven which is basically level one on just like going crazy. So here we go off we go with um, Timothy Gunn and oh yes just look at this, oh beautiful graphics, we've got a nice smooth scrolling, we've got awesome music uh, with sound effects as well, which kick in on one of the uh, channels, um, so probably the, the drum channel, there's three channels of uh, audio on the Amstrad available, so that's nicely mixed, so we've still got the melody and the bass line and stuff whilst we're firing our gun. And what you want to do guys is trying to find a nice little spot like where I am now which is like one sort of level off the ground like that and then uh, on that little god spot shall we call it just move left and right blasting in either direction and hopefully when um, an enemy appears which car who's carrying some evidence papers he'll run along the bottom there and he's really really much easier to shoot there's one and there we go that's the first level completed on to level two and let's see if we could find another sort of god spot as well to hang around in to make our life a little bit easier And yeah, we get a whole new layout for level two. It's beautiful and colorful. Uh, yes, it's rather a, a simplistic sort of background. It's sort of done in tiles and blocks and stuff like that. However, there's so much color, um, but it's not garish on the eyes. It's really, really nice and subtle use of colors. And sprites are easily well defined and you can see it against the back, backdra background and backdrops and stuff like that. So. First rate graphics, really. Um, I mean, I think obviously Caesar, the guy behind the game, would have probably liked to have more detailed backgrounds, but I think it's a um, symptom of trying to get this sort of smooth scroll on the go, so he's used some sort of like tiles and stuff for the background art, rather than like a full bitmap picture or something, if you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, looks like we haven't really got a god spot here on level two, so we just got to run and gun our way through it. Now this was entered into the CPC Retro Dev Game Creation Contest last year, of which I'm gonna have to tell you guys I was a judge on, and this ended up getting uh, fourth place overall. 
uh, after all the judging. Uh, the category I personally was judging on uh, was fun, engagement and playability, Whew! Uh, which is a uh, really hard to quantify and define because it's all subjective. What the hell is um, uh, playability and engagement really? And how do you define fun? A fun game for someone is not fun for another person. Anyway, um, but this was my second place choice. Um, by literally one point in my scoring system I, I made to judge the games. It was really, really tight at the top there for me. Uh, with first place for me going to Operation Alexandra. But was I right? Will my opinion have changed a few months later? And this is what we're finding out here. Um, and I, guys, I really love this game. And I really, really loved making this long play video. Uh, a few months later, I really, really enjoy this. Still. And I have beaten the game before on stream a few months ago, and off stream and stuff like that. And it's been a few weeks and months since I last played it. And I, I love coming back to doing this. And I really, really enjoyed making this one. Um, in comparison to like Operation Alexandra, which won the competition in the end in first, and that was my first place game, I've completed that, but I don't feel like I want to go back through it and do it all again. Whereas with Timothy Gunn, I do. In fact, I kind of want to play more of it right now. <laughs> but to be honest, guys, yes, it's a game for a quick blast, quick fun blast. Obviously, you can complete this in about 10 to 15 minutes essentially and it is tough it is tough i'm making it look easy i'm showing you um places where you can uh oh here's a good place here on level four just stay right here and use that and uh yeah i think maybe with having a longer time to play these games and let, let them sink in I think I might make I think I might have made this my number one in the end. But anyway, let's talk more about the actual game itself. Um, right, um, so this was all done by a gentleman called Caesar Nicolas Gonzalez. Uh, previously in CPT Retro Dev competitions, he had Frog a Lot, reached second place in 2015, Higher Hair, again second place in 2016, and Basket Places, uh, Basket Cases, sorry, hit third place in 2017. Um, you may also know him for the awesome Bubble Bobble for CPC game, which was an almost arcade perfect remake of the classic Coin Up Bubble Bobble for the CPC 464, and also he did the Duck Out conversion in 2017. Now his original plan was to make the game in two parts, first um, into the screen pseudo 3D driving game inspired by Power Drift, and the second half basically the Spectrum version of Cobra, but on the CPC, uh, which you'll see now. Now due to time constraints the driving half of the game was ditched so we could finish this in time, and uh, well let's hope he returns to the driving game and finishes it off uh, one day for another new game, if it's going to be as good quality as this one. So this game was originally inspired by Chicago 30s, a Spanish game, which in the competition extra points were awarded for paying homage to the game. However, Caesar thinks this is not a good game. So this is more a version of uh, Specky Cobra, Stallone Cobra, but in a Chicago 30s setting. And also it's removed like the headbutting move from uh, Stallone Cobra on the Specky. Timmy Gunn always has a uh, uh, gun, basically. Um, so clever stuff of the sprites here, really, because the top half, you may notice, is static of the sprites, but the bottom half is animated. Simple, clever little trick, that. Um, now, um, enemies don't drain energy from contact, only their weapons do. Um, and they're intelligent, they have AI, and they will attack from distance um, at a certain right point on the screen. And then they will run away until they get something else to throw at you. Um, now we're playing like the fifth version of the game. Lots of bug fixes and improvements since the one entered in the CPC RetroDev competition has been done. So make sure you download and play the latest disc. So other tips to the game here, guys. Um, 
obviously focus on the guys with the guns and collect them. Any objects you collect, i.e. a gun, a Tommy gun, or a piece of evidence will restore your energy at the top there. Oh, there we go. Got the blue bar filled up. And now, essentially, guys, we're on to the final level. So it's really important that you um, basically pick up every item and it's actually spawned us in a really good spot here. So you want to get onto that basically bottom um, section there. There we go. But I'm after the uh, evidence there collected. Now I'm not shooting anything at the moment. My one big issue of the game and negative is that um, if you kill someone with a piece of evidence or um, uh, kill a gunner and they drop a gun or a piece of evidence, if you kill someone else afterwards without picking up that um, item, their their item then spawns, but then the previous item despawns. So if you notice there, guys, there was a gun to pick up, then I killed a guy with a piece of evidence, then the evidence drops, but the gun disappeared. So you might end up killing, like, I don't know, two or three guys in a row, like, uh, with that had evidence on them to collect. Uh, but you could only be able to pick up one of those uh, pieces of evidence, not all three of them, because one would disappear. Or oh, both of them, in that case, in that example. So watch out for that. Um, I wish he'd had fixed that. That's my only real negative about the game that I can really pull up without going into like nitpicking stuff, which I don't think is fair, really. Um, it's, a, it's a game that was made in literally like four weeks which is incredibly impressive given how good the game is. And I love it to bits. This is exactly the kind of new game I'm looking for on the Amstrad. Uh, absolutely no disrespect to any of the other people making games on the Amstrad at the moment, but I'm kind of tiring a little bit of single screen platformers. I will still happily play them and I love them when they come out but I've been itching for like a run and gun game for ages so this just suits me personally and um, I love all the other new games coming out like Operation Alexandra, Jarlac that was into the, that was entered in the competition and it got first and third place I think or second place but for me Timothy Gunn is probably more my kind of game and it's all down to personal preference so this guys is the boss battle at the end of level six <laughs> this car that's trying to run us over ideally you want like the machine gun but I ran out of bullets for it oh and I did it there he needs at least about 20 hits to kill and there we go essentially guys we've beaten the game that is the long play done but um, we're going to carry on on to level 7, which is basically level 1, but just gone absolutely bonkers. And you need a huge amount of evidence pieces to move on to the next level. So the difficulty goes insane here, pretty much. But we're going to play as long as we can until we die and see how far we get. Rack up a nice high score. And maybe some of you guys out there can... Give it a go and see if you can beat my high score. Let me know in the comments below if you do. Post a picture in my Discord or something like that to show proof <laughs> if you want, to, if you so want to. Uh, but I, I, I hugely respect. Oh, I died there. There we go. Nice explosion effect. I was going to say I hugely respect Caesar for the work he's done on the Amstrad CPC scene. Um, over the years. I think the first game I, I know of him that he did was Justin in 2005. Kind of a pseudo isometric uh, adventure collect up type thing. Very good it was too. And then of course he dropped Bubble Bobble for CPC. Uh, I think the final version dropped uh, in 2011 but there was versions available before then and it's been a work in progress trying to get it as arcade perfect as possible in the constraints of 64 kilobytes of memory on the CPC 464 and it's amazing work he's done and he continues to and I really really encourage him to keep going um, maybe one constructive bit of um, advice I'd give him is start work a little bit earlier on the game um, if you're trying to enter it to a competition. But I understand sometimes having a time constraint makes you focused on finishing the game. You know, the world of a programmer and a developer is littered with like 
unfinished projects that you started and never got round to sort of completing because you lost the momentum. And if you have a goal and a time limit to go to, that often helps a lot with motivation. So I get it, I get it, I've been there. I'm a musician and a coder myself, so yeah, I, I get that. <laughs> right, there we go. So, um, let's, let's sort of review then. Uh, graphics, oh, God, absolutely first rate. Yeah, okay, simplified backgrounds and stuff like that, but they look so nice and work so well. And the, small, the scrolling is really, really smooth. Um, I don't think it's 50 frames per second, obviously. I think maybe 25, 25 frames per second minimum, maybe, maybe higher. I don't, I, I, I can never tell. All I can say is, is it smooth? Is it fast? Yes, it is. And it also varies in speed as well. Um, I'm, I'm struggling to find any bugs in the game. The music is absolutely fantastic. Um, I think the in-game music is a, basically a frantic rend uh, a rendition and, and adaption of apparently the second song from Magnetic Fields by Jean-Michel Jarre. And there we go. And when we hear the high school table music very shortly, uh, it's a version of the second tune from the Commodore 64 version of Chicago 30s, which is the, uh, the game that you were supposed to pay homage to in the uh, CBC Retro Dev competition. And uh, sound effects are really good too. Um, pretty simple stuff, the sound effects, but like they're perfectly good and suit the game really, really well. Um, so yeah, there we go, guys. That's a review score then, final review score. Um, wow, okay, this would be, for me, if I was doing percentages in the 90% range. For me personally, I would probably give this like a 92%. But as usual with my reviews, I do it out of 10, so I'd, I'd have to round it down or up, so I'd give this a 9 out of 10. But percentage-wise, I'd probably be like pushing like a 92% or something like that. Uh, obviously, I've already mentioned my maybe my one or two criticisms, um, which is like the disappearing objects when another object is spawned. That's really annoying. That could, hopefully that could have been fixed, but oh well. I doubt, I doubt Caesar will go back and do anything for that. Oh, just managed to beat that level. Um, yay, so I got past the level seven there, so I'm happy. My goal kind of was to do beat the game and see if I can get past the first level on the second loop through and I've done it so I'm, I'm a happy boy so yeah the the spawning objects issue um, that's my big criticism and maybe uh, for a higher score and higher placements just generally in the ranking of Amstrad games overall um, I think the game would need a bit more content um, because it's quite short, it's quite simple, and um, I don't, I don't know what he could have done to add more content. I don't know. Maybe like an Operation Wolf style shoot 'em up bonus level or something. I, I don't know. It's a lot to ask of a homebrew coder. That's my, that's my thoughts anyway. It's, it's fantastic for a quick blast. There we go. 9 out of 10. And now the high score table music. Which is lovely. Now according to Caesar, as I mentioned earlier, this is the second tune from the Commodore 64 version of Chicago 30. Nicely adapted here. I'm gonna have a little, little bit more of a listen. And um, if people do want me to, if you want the uh, long play uploaded as a separate unlisted video, I can do. And I can put a link in the description to that if you so want to, without me. So you can listen to the game properly without me jabbering over the top like an idiot. I'm happy to do that if anyone uh, requests it. So yeah guys, I've always been jealous of the uh, Stallone Cobra uh, game on the ZX Spectrum. What a fantastic game that was from Joffa Smith. The Amstrad finally has a game like it and it's a beaut guys. So there we go.
Thanks for watching. Um, 9 out of 10. And uh, that's it from me. Take care, guys. See you again soon. Goodbye. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that, if you did please click a like below, leave a comment and also subscribe if you haven't already, and over that way there's another video for you to check out, Zypho out.